Well, Super Bowl 49 had everything you could ask for. Unbelievable plays, a finish for the ages, even a robot lion at halftime. Nothing could have possibly brought your Super Bowl party down, except maybe <laughs> the commercials. Andy Wallman from KW2 is back with us, as he is every year, to recap the best and the worst. Nice to see you. Nice again. seeing you. What a weird year for Super Bowl commercials, huh? What did huh? you think? Uh, I think the, the gestalt in this country kind of went from entertainment to more emotion. You know, the Super Bowl is the big American campfire where we all gather around and have this shared experience. And I think the ads are sort of a mirror that they hold up to us, right? So we used to want to laugh and get entertainment. Now I think consumers might be saying, we want brands to say something a little bit more about their product, a little bit more about their service in ways that help the world and do good things and do right things. Um, but not so much in an entertaining way, which we saw from beginning to end. Mm -hmm. it, it, is that the venue for that, though, the Super Bowl? Well, that's a good question. It, this is a football game that's supposed to be the most entertaining game of the year, and it was this It'd year. What a game. heck of a game. Yeah. No Packers. But, <laughs> but uh, is that the right place to do that? I think if you're, you're some of these brands, you're going to say, heck yes, we get one shot. We get 110 million people uh, and all the social media stuff that can come with it. And, and enough of them felt uh, that they should roll the dice that they did, uh, no matter what the consequence. One of the most controversial ads in this vein was for Nationwide Insurance. Did you think that was a success or a failure? Well, it's funny. I tweeted right away about it. Way to go, Nationwide. You really said something about making the home safer. I have three kids. Sure, make the home safer. I didn't hear that a kid died in the ad. So I thought that was a very brave, a very bold choice. Um, it's not a publicly traded company, so we won't know for months what the effect of it was. Um, social media was really negative towards Nationwide, oh, very much. but there's the old saying, any publicity is good publicity. Awareness for Nationwide after that is up, 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 up. Did they go too far? Uh, maybe time will tell. And some new time, first time advertisers too, little companies. Yeah, yeah, you saw that in the tech sector, you saw that with smaller brands. I really liked Loctite, the, the goofy, goofy ad where people were dancing and there were all these crazy characters. They hired a, the ad agency Fallon out of Minneapolis, hired Tim and Eric, this really crazy comedy duo who makes comedies on Comedy Central and they direct things and they, they go for weird. <laughs> but if you're Loctite, you have one competitor, crazy glue. So nobody in the world's thinking about Loctite on Saturday. Here we are on Monday and everybody next time they need glue, they might think Loctite. I thought that was a really good use of their of their budget, their entire budget. I got Which a case one? of it back here. <laughs> yeah, it worked, didn't it? Which was your favorite? I, I don't know. I liked the, the Snickers. I mean, I'm, I'm not a bunch. guy who's going to say, you're hungry, eat candy. You know, no, but in terms of a, a Super Bowl ad, entertaining to your point, it was really entertaining. The, the, the characters, the storyline, and playing fun, having fun with the Brady Bunch, that was fun for people of our vintage. Mm -hmm. So coming up next year, do you think this trend's gonna continue or we'll have to wait and see? That'll be really interesting. I, I think it could. You know, I, I think America, the world might be saying, we got the ba -bum jokes, we got the, the sophomoric humor, for years and years and years. Let's elevate the, the conversation a little bit to some important things where we can get a message heard. Now, it might not be as fun, it might not be as entertaining, but if you're that brand out there and you think your customer wants that, you do it. Did you like the Budweiser puppies again? Of course he did, that's his favorite one. <laughs> <laughs> I have mixed emotions uh, about the Budweiser puppy. Uh, I, I know why they do it, you know, it's really effective. It was USA Today's ad meter number one ad this morning. Um, they have such a mixed audience during during the Super Bowl. It's a lot of women, a lot of kids, and they want just a story where you go, aww. So a puppy that runs away, and of course the Clydesdales save the puppy from the big bad wolf. It's not what I think about when I think about having a beer, guys. <laughs> That's my problem with it. But it works like gangbusters for Budweiser. It's a big aww. It is. Andy, great to see you again. Good seeing you guys. Good to see you, Andy. Thank you. Keep up good work.